following the story since those shots were fired. The big question, now what? Frank, Patrol Officer Timothy Lohman has already appealed the city's decision today, something we found usually results in officers getting their jobs back. An exclusive on your side investigation found during a four year period, six of seven officers who appealed after getting fired were allowed back on the force. Lohman shot and killed Tamir Rice outside Kudel Recreation Center in 2014, but was fired for lying on his application. While making the announcement today, Chief Calvin Williams told reporters he has faith the department's decision will not be overruled. Well, we have every expectation that the decision will stick. I mean, again, we went through a, a two-year process in making these decisions, so we expect them to be upheld. Lohman's partner, Frank Garnback, was also disciplined today. He was suspended for 10 days for driving too close as he and Lohman approached Tamir Rice. Garnback is also appealing the city's disciplinary decision. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News 5. All right, Sarah, and today the head of the police union didn't mince words when he blasted the city's decision to fire Officer Lohman and suspend Officer Garnback. Union head Steve Loomis vowed these punishments will be overturned. Um, evidence clearly shows that these uh, gentlemen did not do anything illegal. They did not do anything outside of our policy, outside of our training. Uh, and this is a politically motivated witch hunt. Did you know we hear? Loomis says he believes today's punishments were simply designed to appease a community still outraged by Rice's shootings.